What's up, YouTube? Yo Napper here with another Halo 4 solo legendary walkthrough. And this level is level 4 Reclaimer, and this is part 1 of 2. Now, at the start of this level, you're gonna get to the Mammoth, which is a giant, um, thing. Ship vehicle. It's gonna be a couple jetpacks, grab one. You're gonna have to go through a bunch of talking things. There's a snipers on, uh, like, pretty much underneath where you turn are, there's a little, like, walkway. On either side, there's a sniper, so make sure to grab the ammo. And jump onto the turret on the left side to start. Um, I recommend that you do this because, um, there's enemies on the left side. I've jumped in the right side, and there's, uh, these, like, little floaty platform things. I don't know what they're called. Uh, they never really mention them. And, um, you can also actually be taken down by the plasma pistols. They, uh, slow the mammoth down, surprisingly. Um, jump over to the other side once you're done with the enemies, or even if you're not, you can still just, this, that's what I did, just to get a head start. Um, on these enemies. Um, that other floaty platform thing, that beam rifle guy will kill you. I got really lucky. I took him out super quick. And then you're pretty much just gonna sit back here and use the turret. Um, I kind of wanted to make this a little more interesting, but uh, well, that was pretty interesting almost done. But um, yeah, I just I really wanted to live, and this is I was stuck at this part for so long. I actually quit and because I had to go to work that day, and uh, came back to the level and uh, ended up beating it. But um, yeah. I, I used the jetpack to actually like fly over to that rock, and it really helps. Actually, that right there is a uh, that was awesome. <laughs> Just that ghost kind of freaking out. But um, yeah, I definitely uh, I don't, I don't think I enjoy this level as much as I should. Um. Here, I just grabbed the warthog. I went. I saw the other one there. Almost died here too. And thank God I didn't jetpack my to safety. Um, I think you can destroy a phantom with one, but I just aimed straight for the thing, jumped on the ghost, ghosted away. Um, but uh, yeah, this level is uh, relatively easy. It's pretty much just using the turrets and making sure they don't get destroyed. As soon as your turret gets destroyed, just reload your checkpoint. Um, I wouldn't even recommend or I, there's a certain point when you don't need it anymore um, which is pretty much after this video so yeah um, I'll, I'll make sure to re you know remind you guys when that time will will come um, I think there's about four banshees here um, I'm not exactly sure but you know banshees is crazy so take him out, and I like got off here because I knew there was a couple dudes. There's, these are where the power cores are. There's also a, a shade turret in the back, um, and a couple ghosts. So make sure to take those out. I'm aiming straight here to try to take that turret out, which I did because I'm a boss. And um, once again, just hop out of your ghost, or not your ghost. <laughs> hop out of your turret. It will uh, coax the ghost out. Um, coaxing means that you're going ahead and you're kind of like making enemies come towards you. There's obviously a point where they won't, um, because you're on that turret, they just, you know, they know they're too smart. Um, and I can just whip a grenade at the thing, um, I got back on the, uh, mammoth, actually. It, I didn't, really didn't want me to, but I said, no, and hop back on. Um, take out the, there's a couple ghosts, I believe, back here, and there's also a wraith, which you can't lock onto because it's too far away. But, um, if you're a pro, you can kind of almost anticipate where it's going to go. And, obviously, just taking care of business. Um, and then I'm just like, oh, YOLO. So, I should have run away from those guys, hide behind, uh, there's lots of cover here. You don't see it, but... It's right there in front of our eyes. <clears throat> and using your jetpack will actually save you a lot of time from actually having to, uh, you know. It was great, actually. A lot of... That was the one thing in Halo. There's a lot of um, things you could not jump over. And with the jetpack, you know, 
You're changing the game. Just waiting for this elite to mosey on over. He's throwing grenades. I'm like, what? You can't hit me. Hop on the other side of the shield. It's not even like a bubble shield. It's infinite bubble shield. Just beating his ass down and then, you know, three round burst the head. Trying to figure out how to do it. If you crouch, it actually you can punch a lot easier. Um, I didn't realize this. And lone scrub grunt, totally kicking my ass there. Hmm. Where are I? Um. Sorry, water break. <coughs> yes. Um. So you're almost done with the mammoth, actually. Um, this part right here, I don't know why I didn't use a turret. I think it's just because it got destroyed too er too easily. And then I was like, oh, I'm still need my mammoth turret. Which I, well, I think, uh, whatever. But anyways, um, yeah, this, uh, the AI, he has got great aim, but he doesn't really prioritize his you know his shot sometimes he'll shoot at a ghost when the race right there and obviously this is my perfect run that I got so just um try to keep your distance and but not too far yeah it's hard to explain like he could clearly be making shots there but he's not you know it's not a human so you have to like kinda do a little bit of like run buys like every once in a while and you know superior driving skills right there um, of course I'm just fast forwarding because you don't want to watch this crap this is just driving crap I guess I'll tell a little story here um, uh, I remember the first time I played Halo was Halo 2 and uh, just being so like captured from the game going out and buying Halo 1 and playing that and then watching all the videos on uh, super jumping for Halo 2 you know, getting up on top of Zanzibar and matchmaking, when you could still do that. Getting up on top of, um, Ascension. Just some great maps in Halo 2 that were, ah, oh, they're just so good. And, um, also having the Warthog jump in Halo 1. Skipping, like, the entire level of Sonic. Oh, not the entire level, but the majority of it, I guess. But that's the one thing, Halo was known for like easter eggs and having like glitches. That's what like made it fun. And game developers need to bring those back. You need to bring back glitches. Um, I think right about here they're gonna be like, oh yeah you clear the race out. Get up on top of that thing and I'm like okay. And so I snipe out the elite, kinda. Well, I give him a warning shot. I'm like, okay, this is your first offense, so... Yo, low. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta stop saying yo. <clears throat> anyway, so, just pretty much do what Master Chief does, which is be a boss, and take this... Sh um, what's it called? I forget what they called it, but it's a sweet name. Lich, that's it, Lich. Um... Take this Lich out, Lich King, Lich Pin, and yeah. And then all you need to do is Falcon Punch the Power Core, and you will finish this level. Well, not finish it, but you will finish the first part of the two part series, which is my Halo Legendary Walkthrough. So make sure to watch the second part, and um, go Napper. YouTube, what's up? Peace.